Hi there, thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be a recap of my family's personal finances for January of 2022. Here's what we're going to discuss. The number one thing on the agenda today is doing my first monthly update. As you know, I'm new to YouTube and I didn't have enough information in the time frame that I started making videos to provide an update. However, I have enjoyed other people's update videos so much, I could not wait to have my own. I expect to be doing these monthly updates on a regular basis. And I even look forward to doing some quarterly updates as well as time passes. I don't know when I'm going to be doing my first net worth video, but those are definitely coming. Stay tuned. You will definitely see that by the end of the year. In addition to the monthly updates, I'm also going to be doing a money highlight. The money highlight is a summary of a household spending. I don't want to be doing a detailed budget for the sake of time. And also, I don't really want to bore you with a line by line recap on what we spend on toilet paper. I already did a really long detailed budget video at the end of the year last year. So I thought that I would do something a little differently by highlighting some key items that you might find interesting. Next on the list, I am going to do a recap of the prior month's challenge and the outcome of the challenge and the results. One of the first videos that I did was a list of challenges that I set for myself for 2022. I did try to generalize them a bit to fit a wider audience in case anybody else wanted to participate. So if you want to know what the challenges are for the coming year, check out that video and I will link it in the description box below. And finally, I am going to do the next month's challenge announcement as well as what my prediction is for the outcome of that challenge. But first, here's a little bit about me. Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Here's a little bit about me. My household consists of myself, my husband, and my toddler. My mom also lives with us, but she's not included in our finances. We live in a high cost of living city in the Northeast. My husband and I both went to graduate school, but fortunately we no longer have student loan debt. I work in banking and he works in aviation. I take care of the family's finances and I love my role as the self-appointed CFO. I love to talk about all things money, whether it's investing, saving, or making money. I look forward to sharing a wealth building journey with you. I look forward to getting to know you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's start with the money highlights. Again, like I said, the money highlights is an overview of our household spending. The first highlight is the outcome of our budget. Overall, we were on track for our entire budget. More specifically, we were under budget in some categories one of the areas that we were under budget on was the eating out portion. Our top three largest categories were our mortgage, the daycare fee for our son, and our heating bill. I expect the mortgage and the daycare to be a constant, but I look forward to seeing how number three changes. It is winter time, I live in the Northeast, and we had some unusually cold days the past few weeks. As a result, our energy usage spiked and we had some pretty hefty heating costs. We also did have some spending surprises. For example, we had to have our upstairs bathroom professionally snaked by a plumber. Of course, we have a home improvement budget and it wasn't anything that we couldn't cash flow, but it was still something that I would have rather not spent money on, and it was still something that I was not anticipating. Also, we had snow removal costs because we had a huge nor'easter dump at least a foot of snow in the area that we live in. Some cities and towns across the states got as much as 24 to 30 inches of snow. We got lucky with only, and I put that in quotes, getting 12 inches of snow. As a result, our snow guy came out and plowed a driveway and we had to pay for that. We do have a snow blower. The snow guy doesn't come all the time, but he does come if it's above a certain number of inches and we were well over that. And of course, I have some spending regrets and some spending wins. Unfortunately, one of the lines on our cell phone plans was used to make a call in Canada. And that long distance call, which was pretty lengthy, gave us some really high charges. On the other hand, we ended up making for that by dining out much less this month than we normally do. 
All of that can be credited to the fact that I did a much better job planning my meals and that meant that we did not have to order out for lunch. As for the next month, I expect the following expenses. None of these are surprises. They are expenses that come around every year, but they just happen to come around in February. I am planning for them, but that means that I have to spend more than I normally would spend on another month. For starters, we have excise taxes, which are taxes that we pay on personal property. And in our case, we pay that on our vehicles. I also have to renew the registration on my car, which expires this month. I also have to do a car inspection, which is required by law. I don't have a choice. I have to do it every year. And then finally, we have two birthdays this month. Both my son and my husband have birthdays. Although we're not going to go overboard, they are still special days for people that we care about and people that we love. So we are still going to mark them and celebrate them. And if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit the like button so the algorithm knows that it's good. And of course, subscribe for more content. If you think any of the information that I provide here might be helpful to somebody else, be sure to share it with them. So here's a recap and an update on the prior month's challenge. So the challenge was to create a zero-based budget and to set up a system to track all of our spending. Overall, I give myself a green check mark for this one. It has been achieved. I achieved that by preparing a detailed budget for the entire year, and I used the prior year's information as a baseline to give myself an idea of what I would be spending in 2022. As far as tracking all of my spending, I use an online app to track all of my expenses, and I link it to my bank account so I know what I spent money on, on what day, and in what categories. You don't have to do something electronic. You can use a manual system. Excel is perfectly suitable for that, but I choose to use an app because it's much more convenient. As far as the next month challenge, the next month is a no spend month. That is your challenge. If you do not know what a no spend month is, that is a month where you don't spend any money on anything that is not a necessity. Yes, you have to pay your rent, you have to buy food, you have to buy medication, you have to go to the doctors, but you can't shop, you can't buy unnecessary things that are not considered basic necessities. That's your challenge. And the reason why I picked this challenge for this month is because February is the shortest month of the year. It is much easier to have a no spend challenge when the month is four days shorter than all the other months. However, I am going to predict failure in my case. Unfortunately, as I mentioned before, I have two birthdays. I did cheat a little bit by buying presents in January rather than February because I knew this challenge was coming up. However, I can't buy a cake a month in advance and I can't make a special dinner or I can't go out to eat a month in advance. I don't like predicting failure in my own life. However, I am very limited by the circumstances and the only way for me to avoid this would have been to pick a completely different challenge. But it is what it is and this is where we are. As usual, I always wanna hear from you guys. So leave me a comment in the comment section below about what you thought of my first update video on our personal finances. If there's anything about our personal finances or family household finances that you would like for me to cover, let me know, leave me a note, and I will make a video on it if it's possible, if it's not terribly personal. And let me know if you want to participate in any of the challenges throughout the year. There are still 11 challenges slash tasks that I think we should be able to complete. So I will post the link to the video that summarizes and that sets the, those challenges for us. I will post that link in the description box Check it out and let me know if you want to get on board. I would like to continue sharing my thoughts on all things money with you. So I would appreciate it if you could help out the channel by liking this video and sharing it with anyone you think might benefit from it. If you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when new videos come out. I'll see you in the next one.